Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Praise God. Now, I began sharing something with you last week and from Mark chapter 1 and verse 15. Jesus teaching and preaching and he says the time is here. The kingdom of God is, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is here. And then he gave a command, said, repent and believe the gospel. And I told you that the gospel is God's mind. See, because the gospel re re reveals the, the mind of God, the character of God, and the word of God. See, now, you know, many people don't understand this. That's why they say the, there's Logos and then there's Rema. So they say um, Logos is the written word and then Rema is the spoken word. No, that's not true. Uh, I know Bible schools teaches this, but because somebody said it, so they just keep... Now, the, the difference between Logos and rema is this both of them now when you say the word of god first of all you need to understand what the word of god is the word of god is when god speaks to you that's the truth the word of god is when god speaks to you so you cannot say you have received the word of god because you read the bible no the word of god is when god speaks to you now when the character when the word of god comes to you then you now know what is coming to you is either a logos or a rema you understand what I'm saying? So, if God says, look, I am the Lord your God that causes you to prosper. Now, that's not Rema. That's Logos. Because that word alone may not bring the change or may not bring a miracle in your life. That word alone is only informing you on what God can do. Now, people make this mistake, and that's why I'm sharing these things with you. They are deep, and, and they, 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 so, they are so deep-seated in my heart. And, and that's why I'm trying to bring it to you. People make this mistake a lot. They say, oh, I hate God, I hate God. Look at the content of what God said before you hold him to say he has not done what he promised you. A lot of people think God had promised them something, but he didn't. He spoke to them, and they didn't wait for the end. You understand what I'm saying? When God is speaking to you, you need to understand is God giving me Rema or is God giving me Logos? Rema is when God tells you, arise, go and get this done. Now, when you obey that, see, Rema always comes with obedience. Rema always comes with a command. So you, you see, whenever Rema comes, you do something. Now, that is what brings the result. Are you getting what I'm saying? When Logos comes, Logos makes you happy. Logos makes you hope. But yet God spoke to you. So God said, fear not. Am I not the one that delivered the children of Israel from Egypt? Am I not the one that saved you last year from this? Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's not Rema. That's Logos. Because it's not going to do anything. It's only going to make it, mm, okay, I'll not be afraid again. I'll not, but you can still remain in that situation for so long until Rema comes to you. Rema comes when God tells you, stop that way. Turn this way. And say, whoa, thank you, Lord. I, I didn't know this. Now repentance comes in. And then you turn from that and go this way. And the moment you take your step, God takes his. And that's where a miracle happens. I hope this is getting clear in your heart. So when, when, when David was speaking in, in Psalm 127 verse 2, when he says, it is vain to rise up early and to sleep late because God gives blessings to his beloved in sleep. Now he is telling you, Logos, that's not Rema. I get what I'm saying. He's telling you what God can do. He's telling you what God does because that's the character of God. God takes care of his own children even when they do nothing. Are you getting me? Now, that's why Jesus said, take no thought for your life. Why? Because David had already said and that's the character of God. God takes care of his children even when they sleep, even when they do nothing. He said, I don't understand. So you mean I can just be there doing nothing and God will still bless you? No, God blesses the work of my hands. No, sir. God doesn't bless the work of your hands. Say, huh? But the Bible says, no, who said it? Go check who. You know, sometimes we say some things and we don't realize who was speaking. Was it accurate? Was it true? 
It was the devil that said, talking of, talking, making reference to Job before God, you have blessed the work of his hands. But God doesn't bless the work of your hands. God blesses you. And when he blesses you, whatsoever you do prospers. Praise God. I've got to stop here. This is getting interesting, but you know what? I'm going to continue tomorrow. Praise God. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.